what is up guys Austin here from Iron Wolf Medieval and Fantasy Craft and today we're going to be working on a plug-in torch that you hang up on the wall so let's see how difficult this project is going to be and let's get started Alright, so some things you're going to need for this are a 3 quarters inch piece of PVC pipe, a half inch thing of PVC pipe, a permanent marker, some scrap cardboard, a tape measure, a screw, a dremel or hacksaw, a hot glue gun, and a corded light. So the first thing we're going to do is measure the 3 quarter inch PVC pipe down to about 10 inches and mark that. And then we're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle where we marked it. So use the Dremel or hacksaw and it should look like this. One flat side and one side cut at a 45 degree angle. And so now I cut off the light bulb of the corded light because it wouldn't fit through the PVC pipe. So we're going to feed the cords through the PVC pipe. And then we're going to hot glue the light bulb onto the cords again. But if you don't want to do this, you can always attach the cord on the back of this. So now I hot glued the cords together so the light's working. And now we are hot gluing the light socket onto the end of the PVC pipe so it stays there permanently. So it should look like this once it's hot glued. And now what we're doing is adding a thick layer of hot glue around the entire light bulb. You want to try to make it a uneven bumpy surface. And now what we're doing is adding even more hot glue, this time making it really rough and bumpy. Pretty much what we're doing here is making a flame. So now be careful with this part, but once the hot glue is cooled enough, you can turn it upside down and grab it and start pulling it down to points so it looks like flames. And just keep doing this until you're happy with what you see, and this is what mine turned out to be. And so now we took the half inch PVC pipe and cut that about 6 inches and then cut that at a 45 degree angle on one end. And now we're hot gluing the 45 degree angle end onto the 3 quarter inch piece of PVC pipe. Make sure it's facing down towards the end of the cord. So this is what it should look like. And so now we're taking the scrap piece of cardboard and cutting it and hot gluing it around the front of the PVC pipe so it looks like a brace or clip holding on the other piece. So now we took another piece and wrapped it around the light socket and then took some triangular pieces and glued those on in different spots so this looks like a guard for the flame. And now we're painting the entire PVC part brown so it looks like wood. So it should look like this. And now we're painting the hot glue red very lightly. Just covering the whole thing in red with a very thin coat. And now we're covering all the pieces of cardboard with a silver colored paint. So it should look like this. And now we're taking a yellow and just highlighting the flame with the yellow over the red. So it should look like this. 
and then we painted the half inch piece of PVC pipe brown. And then we took a thumbtack and glued it into the half inch PVC pipe so the tip of it is sticking out. And this is what it looks like when it's all finished painted. So if you connect it to a remote, you can turn it on and off and hang it somewhere like behind a TV like I did. So you can't see the cord. And this is what it looks like when the lights are off. And the camera doesn't really catch the flame part of it that well. So here's a picture of what it actually looks like when it's lit up in the dark. That's how to make a torch that you plug into the wall. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. So if you guys like cool tech and gaming, you want to check these guys out, Mumangu Gaming and Tech Talk. They have some pretty awesome videos and you might catch me gaming on one of their channels. So be sure to check them out and I'll see you guys later.